Namaskaram. Welcome to P Gurus. I'm your host, JK. It's been a long time, but here I am. So without much ado, we're going to bring in the topic of contention for today. And we also have a new guest with us. Let me welcome Shambhavi Tite. Uh, Namaskaram. Namaskar. So uh, just to give a brief about Shambhavi, Shambhavi is a political analyst and columnist, writes predominantly in Marathi, and she has a good grip of Maharashtrian politics, Maratha politics, if I have to say that. And that's exactly, I, I do not see many YouTubes or even the mainstream, apart from Republic, which actually are based in Mumbai, cover Maharashtra as much it should be. Uh, Maharashtra, I guess we have, a center of power in Delhi, but the power center lies in Mumbai, no matter what. Anything and ever, if, if at all any development happening, I guess Mumbai starts the show. Uh, I guess it's the financial capital, as you know it, and, and they are uh, the powerhouse of Bharat. And uh, to, we will discuss something about the upcoming May 20th Lok Sabha poll. We already had one in on April 19th, the first phase, the second phase, and last phase for Maharashtra on May 20th. And we're going to discuss four important constituency. But before that, uh, Shambhavi, what do you think, uh, uh, how, how the cards are placed now in Maharashtra? So uh, Maharashtra is currently in very interesting situation because Maharashtra politics has always been a politics of coalition. There was like two alliances. The first one is Hindutva alliances uh, alliance, which was majorly uh, Shiv Sena BJP alliance till 2019, and there was another alliance, which is uh, Secular Alliance, which is uh, led by the NCP Congress faction. And uh, now uh, the every party, like the major parties, like NCP and Shiv Sena, is uh, broken. Congress uh, is seen nowhere. Many are uh, many great leaders from Congress are switching sides to BJP. So now uh, we are considering the politics of Maharashtra is, uh, is, is like a khichdi where we are not seeing, you know, what ingredient is where and, uh, you know, with what agendas they are going forward. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, you know, this is the current case of Maharashtra. And uh, regarding the uh, Mumbai, Mumbai uh, will uh, do the, uh, you know, the uh, Mumbai Kars will cast the vote on 20th. And uh, I am from Mumbai, so I can I can uh, clearly see the case of Mumbai is in 2019. The Mumbai uh, was always been a bastion of Shiv Sena. Mumbai and Thane, this like Thane is a nearby constituency of Mumbai. So this has always been uh, controlled by uh, Sena. And now, uh, due to this uh, new factions uh, on many seats, uh, the Eknath Shinde Shiv Sena is fighting against Uddhav Thakre Sena. And, uh, you know, BJP has got their good amount of share when it comes to the seat. Earlier, it, the equation used to be like a one seat for BJP, four seats for Sena or something like that. But now this time the seat division is 50-50 and uh, BJP, like the leaders like Piyush Goyal has uh, got a ticket uh, from Mumbai as well as the Ujwal Nikam, uh, who was the, uh, you know, judge in Ajmal Kasab case and uh, who declared the Parsi to Ajmal Kasab uh, has also got a ticket from BJP. So uh, these things are going to obviously uh, giving a good boost uh, in uh, in Mumbai and Thane. But on the other hand, when it comes to Shiv Sena, Shiv Sena is fighting against uh, the people with whom they have worked once upon a time. Uh, because uh, now uh, at one side, the Hindutva Alliance, the Eknath Shinde's group is there. And at another side, the Uddhav Thakre and NCP group is there. So it is quite interesting to see uh, the, you know, seats like Kalyan, Thane and, uh, you know, I think Northwest Mumbai where the Shiv Sena and uh, against Shiv Sena is fighting rather than Shiv Sena and BJP fight. So one thing I have to say is anything about Maharashtra is Maha. I guess Maha Yuti, Maha uh, Angadi, Maha Vyas Angadi. And you have anything and I guess you should also, because Greater Mumbai should be called Maha Mumbai if I have to say it that way. <laughs> Because it is anything and everything is big, huge, and 
humongous if it has to be Mumbai and Maharashtra. But just, just talking about the four major fields that we are looking at, one between, uh, I guess, sister-in-law or rather uh, uh, nephew uh, or niece and uh, uh, the aunt, uh, to be precise, Sunetra versus Mrs. Priya Shule. Pretty interesting, isn't it? I guess two factions of NCP uh, going head on with each other. Uh, whose hand is up as of now? Uh, currently, see, uh, you have to understand the Western Maharashtra's politics first. Uh, I will go a little bit in history. The NCP has created uh, to counter Sonia Gandhi's foreign, uh, you know, uh, origin. So the party started like that, and then uh, they uh, did a coalition with Congress, and uh, the, you know, the faction of NCP, which worked on the ground, which is greatly behind the Ajit Pawar. However, the Supriya Sule, like uh, when she was contesting earlier, the entire force which helped her uh, is is with Ajit Pawar right now. And uh, so many analysts are saying in Maharashtra that this seat might go to Sunetra Pawar this time and it will start the, you know, end of Sharad Pawar faction and rise of Ajit Pawar faction as well in Maharashtra politics. So it is going to be a huge, uh, you know, huge as well as interesting seat uh, to look at. Also, the uh, this sugarcane lobby, the you know, it's a complex politics when it comes to Western Maharashtra. So uh, you know, we are not aware uh, with which the sugarcane lab lobby standing because. Uh, at one hand, Ajit Pawar has worked with them since last 30, 35 years, hand in hand, while Sharit Pawar is like a big boss in that scene. So uh, that thing is also there. Uh, but uh, anyway, like we are excited to see uh, uh, it on 4 June, uh, you know, where the seed goes. Right. The other one, uh, which I believe is kind of... Um, we should be looking at an interesting seat is I feel Satara. Satara, I guess, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's hereditary, uh, in fact, somebody from his uh, from his family is has been winning in NCP seat for long now. I guess now mm -hmm. we switch side mm -hmm. and the seat uh, become vacant and it has been taken by NCP now. But 2024, do you think uh, Mr. Bosley has a chance? Uh, see, the uh, that seat has a history. Like, uh, you know, even though Chhatrapati Udayan Raje Bhosle was with NCP and he won election and then he resigned and joined BJP. And there was a by-election uh, in which the NCP, uh, he has lost to NCP. So BJP took him to the Rajya Sabha seat and uh, then la later, like uh, now, He's contesting for the uh, Lok Sabha seat. So, uh, you know, the obviously the there is this wave called uh, okay. He's a uh, he's a uh, you know uh, uh, the he is uh, someone from Shivaji Maharaj family. And how come NC uh, you know NCP uh, do this uh, bad politics with him and make him lose his in his own territory? So there is this kind of wave also in Satara, which is uh, greatly hampering the NCP's image uh, uh, as against, uh, you know, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj or Shivaji Maharaj's family. Uh, you know, they could have done a better game uh, if uh, they would have take uh, the, uh, you know, the Maharaj. Like there is one more, uh, you know, Maharaj uh, who, who is related to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj in Kolapur constituency. He is contesting from the Congress's seat. So uh, it would have been better if NCC would have take the take him under you know their party and then would have contested it. Then it would have some way balanced out in Satara. But however, nowadays like yes, there is a wave which is uh, quite you know uh, like NCP is against the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj's uh, you know uh, family. So yeah, that wave might hamper the NCPs in which in Satara, and uh, there is a great hope from that person. Right, the other one is uh, Aurangabad. We see a lot of discussion about a liquor baron from BJP 
I guess that they kind of positioned him as a liquor baron. The opposition has positioned him in such a way uh, that Mr. Bumare, right? Am, am I pronouncing it right? Bumare, right? Bumare yes, uh, might, yes, find it, yes. might, might find it difficult in Aurangabad, but do you still think BJP has a chance there? Uh, I think so, yes, because uh, two things are there. You have to understand about Aurangabad. Uh, you know, you have to understand one thing about the, uh, you know, the Dalit votes of Maharashtra. So there is this new Buddhist, uh, you know, uh, Samaj, which is, uh, you know, which converted, when Ambedkar converted into Buddhism. So that Samaj is greatly uh, with Vanchit Bahujan Agadi, which is like a, a political party of Ambedkar's grandson. And uh, last time, uh, MIM had an uh, alliance with Vanchit Bahujan Aghadi, uh, and uh, this time is not there. So that is a great point because the lit votes will get divided because the Hindu Dalit vote goes to the, uh, you know, many votes goes to the BJP. So that time, these votes will get divided uh, on that faction. And uh, this uh, Buddhist vote will go to, you know, this uh, Sena and uh, that NCP faction. Uh, uh, so MIM, I guess, last time won hardly by 4,000 votes. And because uh, there was a tussle between uh, the, you know, the, the votes of Dalits, uh, MIM could have a, a victory in very less margins. So the Jalil, the uh, Jalil who is the uh, MP from Aurangabad constituency, uh, now named as the Sambhaji Nagar. So uh, he is not in a case anywhere this time because he is definitely going to get a very hard time. He is definitely getting a very hard time. And, uh, you know, uh, the, at the second, uh, and, you know, I, I feel that the Muslim women, they are silent voters, uh, especially after the, uh, you know, this triple talaq thing, the many Muslim women are voting for BJP because, uh, and that's the case in Aurangabad also. So even their vote matters. And uh, uh, we'll see what happens in Aurangabad, but definitely uh, we are hoping for Bumraid and uh, there is a no case where MIM is coming again. Right, so Sambhaji Nagar, the name change, is that going to work? Yeah, of course, it's, it, it, is the, it is the identity, uh, you know, for Maharashtrians that uh, the this name politics, we call it name politics, but uh, what Aurangzeb has did to Sambhaji Maharaj uh, is, you know, we all know. And uh, that is the, you know, that is very near to the hearts of Maharashtrians. And every, every uh, you know, Marathi thinks that, okay, it should be named as a Sambhaji Nagar rather than Aurangabad. So, of course, right. that, that is going to uh, get, uh, maybe at uh, in very less form in Aurangabad, but in other parts, definitely. One thing I think I should be asking you is, uh, it's been some time since Palgar had happened. We know that it happened under um, the Shiv Sena regime. Right. But we also feel uh, BJP is not being so really going behind it or not. Uh, want, want to kind of uh, ensure that justice is right. being done to the south. Right. Uh, do you think that, that that will have some impact? Uh, I will give you some interesting uh, thing about it. The, you know, if you, even though Maharashtra is a Hindutva center, if you look at the uh, politics of Hindutva in North Belt, in the Cow Belt, how much it prominent, the, in Maharashtra, BJP is not doing it that prominently. Because uh, in last 25, 30 years, the, the, Agenda of Hindutva has always been with Shiv Sena, and Shiv Sena was the in the forefront when it comes to Hindutva. So the politics of Hindutva, uh, you know, by BJP leaders is very new. It's like it's they are not they are not that vocal like how the leaders from North are. So uh, these things are there. And regarding the Palgar uh, Sadhu Hatya thing, uh, you know, now the reports are coming that uh, Uddhav Thakre, uh, you know, the, you know, halted the CBI inquiry on the, uh, because Rahul Gandhi said so. Rahul Gandhi advised Uddhav Thakre that, okay, you should halt the uh, CBI inquiry and the center should not involved in this matter. 
and now the case is with the cbi under the uh, you know uh, under the bjp and uh, this uh, shiv sena ek touch in the faction so uh, these things are there and uh, of course the that uh, you know the sadhu hatya somewhere damaged the image of uddhav thakre and uh, shiv sena as a anti hindu because he did not take he did not took any stand when it comes to the hatya of uh, you know sadhus and there was this another uh, incident which uh, damaged the image of uddhav thakre as a you know as a anti hindutva wadi is uh, you know that uh, lady is contesting from the amravati seat currently uh, from bjp her name is navneet rana and even that seat is uh, quite interesting uh, to know about uh, so she and her husband in 2022 uh there was some debate happened and they wanted to perform chanting of hanuman chalisa in front Arman of Chalisa. yeah yeah in front of uh, uddhav thakre's house so uddhav thakre get them arrested and it was a big issue in maharashtra that okay the uh, cm who is calling him the son of hindu hriday samrat bala saheb thakre is uh, stopping people from chanting hanuman chalisa in front of his house so that also damaged the uddhav thakre's image as a hindutvadi leader somewhere and uh, now uh, this navneet rana earlier in 2014 she contested uh, on ncp's ticket she lost there then in 2019 uh, she uh, you know got elected as a independent candidate uh, uh, in uh, lok sabha and uh, from ncp and congress is support but after going to the after getting into parliament uh, she started supporting bjp and uh, she did a lot of pro modi politics and this time uh, the bjp has given her ticket and the amravati has always been like bjp had no presence in amravati but uh, with you know her seat or with uh, you know her persona and uh, her uh, you know entire thing which happened in 2022 bjp is hoping that she tolls right hopefully i guess uh, now it now it rana has been in news for exactly for the same reason you said hanuman right. chalisa chanting right. uh, and right. i guess that, that that was a national headlines for some day right. hopefully she can win from amaravati for right. the hindus if at all right right uh, right, right. Shab- shabhi just one final question what would be the tally for bjp from maharashtra uh the according to me the tally would be around uh, 38 to 41 seats uh, with the coalition and uh, you know there can be many seats also uh, if uh, it depends uh, but uh, many due to this khichdi politics is happening in maharashtra we are hoping for uh, for from 38 to 41 seats and in between that uh but uh, it it will be a great mandate last time bjp won around 42 seats with the coalition with the shiv sena so this time i guess one or two seats will be here and there not more than that okay we'll wait for june june 4th to see whether your numbers comes good or not absolutely. thank you very much nambavi absolutely thank you thank you, thank you so much for having me and uh, yeah keep uh, hoping for bjp's win <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll continue uh hanging out with you as often as possible even after the election. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay.